Okay, something a little bit different today. We've got another build on the table. Imagine you wanted a build, you had no idea on the specs, you had no budget, and you're not gonna find out until it's done. So that's what we're gonna do today. Luke has asked me for another build for another comp and complete selection is mine. So it's been going on about a ver oh no, an upright GPU for a while. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We've got the Lian Li 011 Dynamic Evo. This case gives you the opportunity to put the GPU in here with the addition of the upright GPU kit. So we're gonna go with that. And what better GPU to put in than the impossible to find, out of stock everywhere, ROG 4080. We're gonna pair that with brand new out, the NZXT N7B650E. Looks amazing, gonna go really well with all the white, everything white, all the Anli stuff. It's great, let's go for it. This is the Ryzen 7900X. Four sticks of DDR5. I think these ones are, if I can remember, yeah, 5200, 64 gigabytes in total. And we're putting a one terabyte Gen 4 NVMe Head not to be driving. That looks so smart, doesn't it? So the interesting thing about this case is you can actually put everything opposite. Everything comes off, you get this accessory box. There's loads of stuff you can do with it. I think you can even put the motherboard in upside down. I don't know why you'd want to do it, but if you had your desk and you had to have the PC in a certain place, but how many people would actually do that? Luke wants a upright GPU. I think this is the only case that does it. So there's not too many videos online that show how to do the upright GPU kit. I don't know if many people go to the effort of doing it, I think it's worth it if we, if we do it. So just have a quick kind of user guide of how we found it and how we replaced it. So first thing you wanna do, quickly pop out. This is the original bracket that we'd use with fans. In the bottom of the excess, excess, in the bottom of the accessory tray box, in the bottom of the accessory box, you'll find this flat one. That's what this is for. So pop that in. The GPU bracket, what you want to do is find, you've got different types of screws. You want the ones with the, the flat heads on, four of those, and pop that into there. There's four screws on the top. You need to remove the top cover panel for this. So when you've got that bracket installed, take out the graphics card tray. Two screws, easy enough to get to. Pop the tray over the graphics card. Two screws, rounded ones. Okay, the manual says to put the cables in afterwards, but I think it's probably gonna be more accessible to put them on that. So we'll put the, the Corsair power cable in and the Gen 4 riser. Just like that. Two screws, the ones that we took out to get the bracket out before. And then pop the riser cable into the motherboard. Done. The beloved streamer cables, V2s, look great, bit of a pain to fit. And we've got quite a lot going on here, so hopefully these should cover up the riser cable. We're in. It is done. Should we see what the boss thinks? Luke, come have a look. Oh, oh you did it. Oh, holy shit. Is it attached or is it standing? It looks it's standing. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Fuck it, it is yeah. fully attached. It'd be a lot easier with a smaller graphics card. This graphics card is the, the absolute yeah, but limit that it can go. It suits that. Yeah. What, so how's it attached? Is that like a third party thing? No, that's a Lian Li. Is it? 90 pound part. Fucking hell. Because it's a Gen 4 riser. 
the 4080 ROG. Such a nice card. 64 gig of DDR5, pretty smart PC. Oh no, you haven't even noticed. The motherboard is the new version oh, the new of NZXD. NZXD N7. Just brand new out, clean. It's expensive. Is it? Yeah, 310. Whoa. But it's fine because you're paying for it. Yeah. <laughs> so you can win this bag of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you can all agree that the Textalion has done an outstanding job once again. And this, as we speak, I think, is live on the website with probably five instant wins of PCs for probably 99p, if not around that price. So probably go get a ticket and see if it can be on your setup very soon. Good luck. If not, I'm gonna take it home. Thank you.